wavy line that we can sort of move around if we want and make it a bit more connected to our render. And let's lower the opacity so it doesn't stand up way too much like it does now. And we like this side, but we don't like that side. That side's too large. So let's take the eraser tool and pick a big amount. That's too big. Okay. Let's lower the opacity a bit on the eraser tool. And let's just start erasing a bit. We can lower it a bit more than that. And just start messing around with the waves here. Because we need to do it again with the larger one. We basically do the same thing. Go to filter, distort, ripple. But this time we want a larger ripple amount. Let's make about 340. And let's do the same thing. Layer, select, modify, contract. Add three pixels, sounds good. Delete that. Move it around. And let's just do soft light. Lower the opacity a bit. And go back and erase what we do not like. Let's even lower the opacity a bit down a bit more. Okay, so as of right now, that might not look like a nice thing to do, but it will once we get everything finished. So now we need more additional render effects, so we need to duplicate the render, drag it below the render, this we will not modify ever, and let's just add brush strokes. And we want to smudge it a bit too. And I like to name my layers what we do to them. So we need to brush stroke the layer and add smudge to it. So let's do filter, brush strokes. Now I like the angled strokes for the seg. Just start messing with the settings here. And maybe turn down the sharpness. Okay. Oops, wait. We need to increase the size a bit first. So. Alright. So now we go to filter angled strokes. Now let's hide this layer for a minute. Let's take our smudge tool and pick a. Uh, you can find most of what I have here on DeviantArt and just pick a grunge brush and start smudging it a bit that much. So you get a desired effect you're looking for. Of course that's going to be blown out. So let's change the opacity a little bit. So it looks like it's a uh, little blur added to it. Let's increase that a bit. Okay. Okay. So now we need to duplicate the brush strokes and smudge layer we just did and add a Blur to it. And what I did is filter blur and make it pretty large. Okay. So there we go. Now we get into the actual really cool effects. Okay, so now we want to apply image and add some effect to the overall design. But we do not want to manipulate the render, so we unhide, we hide that. And then we go to the layer below. Command A or Control A. Command Shift C or Control Shift C. And Command V 
or control V. And now we have an apply image and what we want to do is smudge this a bit more. Or we can just create a new layer and click the sample all layers, but I like to do it this way. And pick another uh, smudge tool you want to use and select a different brush to smudge with just start going crazy here and smudge the background as well get sort of that start fading away and once that is done we need to duplicate it and let's do displace and if you haven't uh, used this place, what it uses is a different PSD to add effects to it. So we add AI Displace layer and go to Filter Distort Displace. And click OK for the basic settings. And pick a nice render you want. Uh, documents, Photoshop, Documents. And where's my signatures? Right there. Alright. So I'm going to pick a signature I have done that has pretty cool effects. And the sub zero one, I don't know if I can increase that. That one has cool effects, so I'm going to click open. And it'll add some text to it, but just ignore that for right now. So after that is done, we have our background sort of going crazy here. We want to uh, rotate the uh, image, and let's just do 90 CW, and we do it again. Filter, distort, displace. With a different, or you can do the same, but a different uh, signature PSD you have. And okay. Starcraft 2 has a lot of cool effects. Image, we do it again. But with the other way. Go to 90 CCW twice. Go to filter, distort, displace and pick another one not that one Iron Man 2 no Sonic Unleashed there has a lot of cool things alright now we'll return to original by 90 CW and let's do it one more time And I'm going to add a crisis. And let's do it again and get additional effects that way. So this sort of adds a bunch of effects to it. And what we can do is duplicate it and displace smudge and let's just start smudging it again we can unhide hide, hide that and just start smudging here until you get a oops, that's a little bit too much until you get a result you like so I did displace a few more times to get a nice better looking effect uh, I created a new AI display smudge display